Good evening, members of the Board of Education, Dr. Gruccio, Dr. Charlton, faculty, staff, family, and friends. I would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for the Egg Harbor Township High School Class of 2019. On behalf of my classmates, I want to thank all of you for sharing this special day with us. Without your never-ending devotion, care, and support, we would not have made it here today. It's finally here, the day that seemed so, so far away when we stepped into this school four years ago. The day that we've been waiting for, the day that it finally sinks in, that high school is over. Of course, it's a day to celebrate, but it's also an opportunity to look back and put things into perspective. Some people say high school is the best years of your life. There are so many movies that try to capture the high school experience. Some good, some not so good, and yet most of them not very realistic. During the past four years, it was easy to get stuck into this mentality that your life revolved around high school and that everything was so much bigger and life-altering than it really was. Maybe someone did wear the same prom dress as you. Maybe you did bomb that one English essay. Maybe you didn't get into the college of your dreams. But after making it to this point today, you realize that it wasn't the end of the world after all. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's not worth it to worry about every little thing. Because at some point, you're going to look back and laugh at how much you let that moment get to you. Amen. You know, I always thought it was weird that just because you have a certain GPA and rank, you get to stand here and share your words of wisdom. In reality, we've all had important experiences with equally important lessons. Because you're not defined by a single number, and you are not defined by your high school experience. If there is any insight I want to share, it's that you're selling yourself short when you say your high school years were your golden years. High school is a transformative experience where you start to figure out who you are and what you stand for. But there is so much more living ahead of you. So much more to struggle and succeed through. This is a big moment to celebrate everything we've accomplished, but it will not be our last or our only one. Before I finally say goodbye, there are some people I want to specially thank for being with me through this educational and emotional journey. To my mom and dad, who left behind everything and everyone they knew almost 20 years ago to start a new life in the United States. Thank you for giving my siblings and me the opportunity to achieve our aspirations. Your endless sacrifices taught me to value my education and fall in love with learning. And your unconditional love and support created an environment where I could learn and grow. For that, I can never thank you enough. To To my friends, thank you for teaching me not to worry so much about what others think, because my self-worth should not come from anyone but myself. You are the reason I'm the confident, strong person that I could only imagine myself being four years ago. To my teachers, thank you for encouraging me to take control of my education and to ask questions rather than passively accept what's taught. There's one teacher in particular I would like to give a special thank you to. One who never taught me in class, but who was a mentor and role model for me during the past four years. Mr. Brower, you deserve so much recognition for the time and effort you dedicate to your students' successes. Thank you for spending countless hours after school to help me prepare for competitions when you did not have to. And thank you for sharing your passion for teaching and engineering with me. Congratulations, class of 2019, and thank you for the unforgettable memories. It is hard to say goodbye, but I know our futures are bright, so let's take charge and make the best of it. Thank you, and it is now my absolute pleasure to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2019, Aiden Himley. accomplishment. Second, thank you. It has been wonderful to have you all as my classmates, and I truly could not have asked for a better graduating class. Finally, good luck moving on from high school, wherever that may take you. Thank you, 
And I would now like to introduce the president of the class of 2019, Liz Valen Ozoria. Also, <laughs> Tell is greater than Khan. Thank you. Good evening, friends, families, teachers, administrators, and graduates. I'm extremely honored to be in front of you today celebrating the fact that we no longer have to wake up at 6 a.m. anymore. I cannot express the stream of excitement coursing through our veins as we all begin the next part of our lives. I appreciate the experiences I've gained here and the opportunities that have been presented to me. I can honestly look back and say that for me, high school was full of growth. This is not because everything went exactly the way I had planned, but because I learned to value my failures as well as my successes. Although I cannot complain about my experience, I am well aware that this may not have been true for all of us. High school may not have been the experience that you hoped for, and sometimes you may have fallen short on what you wanted to accomplish. However, now that we're leaving Ed Harbor Township High School, you will no longer be able to complain about school assemblies, E-Wing, or first lunch. You will no longer paint your faces on a Friday night and watch the football games with the same, and I quote, flock. All that aside, if you find your heart full of regret, take today as a time to rid yourself of that baggage and focus on your future. Despite all of the struggles, each and every one of you should be proud that you're here today. I want to remind each of you that as of this moment, many of our paths will branch off and each of, and each of you will have a different path. The string of excitement that held us together will dissipate and in front of us is our new beginning. As you embark on your new life, I hope you can look back on high school and realize that everything happens for a reason. I hope you can reflect on your failures and successes and use them to morph yourself into the person you want to be. I want to give a special thanks to God for allowing me to see the bright side of every single experience. Hello? Thank you to every person I had the opportunity of meeting. Thank you to my three sisters who are a huge pain that I would never want to get rid of. Thank you to this community that allowed me to grow academically and personally. And last, but certainly not least, I would like to give a special thanks to the most important people in my life, my mom and my dad. Le doy gracias a mi mamá y a mi papá por siempre enseñarme el valor de la familia. I want to give thanks to my mom and my dad for only showing me the value Estuvieron a mi lado cuando nadie lo estuvo, y espero que pueda darle el apoyo y el amor que siempre me ama. You guys were by my side when no one else was, and I hope that I can give you the love and the support that you've always given me. Now, on behalf of the class of 2019, I would like to call up Jennifer DeMeo, our advisor. throughout these four years to make our experience here the best they possibly could be. And we're extremely grateful to have had such a dedicated advisor. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the principal of Egg Harbor Township High School, Dr. Terry Charlton. At this time, I would like to ask everyone in the stadium, including the graduates on the field, to please stand. Before continuing with tonight's ceremony, I would like to pause and remember Alejandro Gonzalez Santos, a member of the class of 2019 who passed away last year. Tonight, we award an honorary diploma in Alejandro's memory, and I ask that we now recognize the moment of silence. Thank you, and please be seated. Again, welcome, Dr. Gruccio, Mr. Della Barca, members of the Board of Education, 
distinguished guests, administration, faculty, proud family and friends, welcome to the 35th commencement exercises of Egg Harbor Township High School. The class of 2019 was a force to be reckoned with on the athletic field. We won our fifth group sectional championship in boys track and field, a sectional title in boys bowling and girls track and field were Atlantic County champions. Yes. We also had a 100 match winner in girls tennis and Cape Atlantic Conference titles in girls soccer and tennis. But sports alone do not define our school. This year we sang and danced our way through Mamma Mia and flew to the rough tops with Mary Poppins. We had students selected for regional and state ensembles in both choral and instrumental, and all Eastern selection and band, as well as award winners at the New Jersey Thespian and State Teen Arts Festival. The Department of Education awarded our seniors 92 seals of biliteracy in six different languages. Five student technicians received certification for automotive service excellence, with one of them being nationally certified. Two computer science students were winners of the Congressional App Challenge, and another student was named an Amazon Future Engineer. I would also like to give special recognition to 14 students on the field tonight that have enlisted in our nation's military and are wearing colored cords that match their branch of service. As a community, we couldn't be more proud. Now I'd like to pass along my final message to the class of 2019. Each year before we walk out into this field, I look at the pictures and watch the videos of your freshman orientation. Don't worry, I won't reveal who was dancing Gangnam Style or wearing the Call Me Maybe t-shirt. Even though we say to every incoming class, your time here will go fast, it still amazes me how short time that really is. You have successfully transitioned from boys and girls to young men and women who are ready for their next chapter in life, and today we share in your excitement, hopes, and dreams. This year we refocused our identity as Eagles and created a new logo so that no matter where we travel, people immediately identify us as Egg Harbor Township. To celebrate this reconnection with our roots, the Eagle is on top of your graduation caps, so you can always look back and know you were part of something special. But more important than caps and logos is the fact that you have learned to act with the best attributes of the eagle. I came across an article that connects four characteristics of our mascot to a successful life and career, and I want to share each one with you briefly. Eagles have powerful vision. Its eyes are the strongest in the animal kingdom. They are designed for long distance surveying and immediately adapt when it is time to strike. He shows us how to be patient, look to the future, and be ready when opportunity presents itself. Eagles are fearless. They will never surrender no matter the size or the strength of the obstacle. She shows us how to tackle problems head on and be willing to take risks. Eagles fly high. When other birds take cover from the storm, the eagle takes advantage of the increased wind current to soar to even greater heights. A great example of how to thrive in the face of adversity. And finally, Eagles nurture their young. There is no better evidence of this than the parents, the class of 2019. Thank you, Dr. Charlton. It is my distinct honor to accept your certification of the class of 2019. Welcome parents, grandparents, family, friends, and distinguished guests to this extraordinary event. Tonight, we celebrate student achievement, and this is an example of EHT pride. At this time, please allow me to recognize some very important people who contribute to the successes of the Egg Harbor Township School District. And I ask you to stand when recognized. Our Board of Education President, Mr. Lou Delabarca. <laughs> Vice President, Mr. Ray Ellis. Yeah. Board of Education members, Ms. Christy Bird, Pete.
Castellano, Tamika Graham Floyd, Michael Price, Marita Sullivan, Amy Summer, and Barbara Salagi. Also joining us this evening, our mayor, Mr. Paul Hodson. Deputy Mayor, Ms. Laura Frommer. And committeeman, Mr. Andrew Parker. Our District Central Office team, Assistant Superintendent, Mr. John Davis, Mr. Steve Santilli. Our Business Administrator, Mrs. Chandra Naya. Director of Human Resources, and sadly retiring this year, Dr. Carolyn Gibson. Our principals, please stand. Directors and supervisors. Where every hand together, we focus on every child each and every day. Where establishing relationships is our top priority as we work to embrace one another. To the class of 2019, at this time, I ask you to take a moment to reflect on the relationships that you established while here at EHT. Relationships with teachers, coaches, cafeteria staff, bus drivers, counselors, and of course, your BFFs. These people served as a special part of your journey through our schools, and amongst the relationships you have created and contributed to your status today. As you move into your future, I encourage each and every one of you to continue to develop relationships, build solid and trustworthy friendships that are established through face-to-face -face conversation and not solely through the use of social media. While I know we have worked hard to prepare you for this global society and have even provided you with information by using social media, 